Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Um, in this episode, I was planning, I remember from the end of the previous episode, to do what is probably a boss fight in uh, the Undead Settlement with some kind of a huge tree. It looks like a tree. Um, and I think I prepared for it because I don't have any souls anymore or only 51 so not much risk if I die of losing a lot of capital um, but actually before doing that in the pr uh, in between episodes I was reading up a bit and I will show you We go over here. So this is where the boss fight is. It's, I think it's in the tower, uh, in the picture, in the middle. Oh shit, now I'm going there. Because I actually want to go to the bonfire. That is one earlier. This one. Because what I already found, or maybe, I'm just thinking out loud, one second. One moment, please, because I'm trying to get the mental picture uh, in my head of the outlay of the um, of this area. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best location is to start from, but what I am sure about is I will show you one other thing also what I read about is uh, a couple of episodes ago, I think two or three. We made our way past that little tower building to the right, and then uh, on top of, uh, and then you see that uh, yeah little house over there. We went to the right of it, and we jumped down to where the point of the sword has like that little tree, uh, that tree in the distance. Then uh, we went down along the cliff and we retrieved a ring over there. But there was like a dude over there, one of those big dudes with a cage on his back. I, f I assumed it was an, uh, an enemy and I aggroed him and uh, took him out. But apparently it, it's not um, an enemy. So sometimes it's really hard to know up front which, uh, which are enemies and which are not. Because that guy actually, I think you can get into his cage on his back and he will take you to another area that then uh, where you can then join a covenant. And for me, it's not a big deal because covenants, I think it's mostly for online play. I will be doing offline only this playthrough. I don't want to be invaded and stuff, all kinds of unpredictable stuff happening. I just want to enjoy the, the story and the world. Uh, but what I do uh, find a bummer is that I killed like a friendly because I, I even in this hellish world of Dark Souls I would like to play as, as the good guy as a force of positivity um, but yeah so I accidentally killed a good guy and the other thing that I, I will be running through it and I can explain better but earlier uh, an episode before that even or a couple of episodes I saw a guy dangling from a cage and I was like, is that just like a regular undead? Because he, it looked like he was wearing some armor. And apparently it is indeed an NPC you can interact with. He sells, I think, pyromancies. So before going into the boss fight, what the initial plan was, I'm going to try and get to that NPC and talk with him. So let's first take out that dude. Then that dude, and then we will run to the other side of this building. Finally, after so many retries here, I know a bit the uh, layout, so I'm not constantly fighting all these enemies. And the guy I'm talking about, can we see him from here? Okay. 
God damn it, we cannot. It's so confusing the layout. Um, yeah, he's much more over there, so I do think I need to get to the other bonfire to quickly get there. Unless I go through here. Yeah, that's maybe also an option. No, it's better, it's quicker, I think, if I go through the other bonfire where we were. So I was actually at the right bonfire. But yeah, you, you see, holy shit, there is some more item drops now. Not that much, worker gloves, they're really worth nothing. But at least the points I put in luck maybe have some minor effect. I read it's marginal. I really wasted like eight level up points to increase my luck for item discovery, but I r hardly get any good items. All right, here we go. So I think over there is the boss fight. That's what we will be doing later on. But first let's talk to that dude. Over here is uh, annoying rats. And over there are also incredibly annoying skeletons. Uh, by the way... Yeah, I could actually... Walk straight ahead and get out over here. What the hell? Annoying rats. How much do they hurt? 100. Almost a quarter of my health. Or 20%. Whoa, whoa. Ah, yeah. There's a dog up there, indeed. Alright, done. This is what I meant. There are two ways here uh, that you can access this sewer. Uh, but I think this is the correct area. All right, there we have also quite annoying dudes. Somebody is throwing bombs, I think from up top. So I have to be careful about that. I think also one of those magic guys is walking around here who is majorly annoying where is he there he is all right i will just avoid him for now because he's just annoying I have to watch out for ranged enemies. There could be quite a lot over here, at least on top of that bitch. Well, uh, passageway. But anyways, over there is the dude. I need to find a way to get to that dude over there. So quickly, let's see. Where, why don't I have my binoculars? That was preparing for the boss fight, but... Uh, Two, three, four, five, six. And by the way, who is that? Ah, that's just an undead. There he is. That is the dude. And I was already, when I entered this area, I saw that little flame over there. It really looked like not a regular cage. So I was already expecting it, but then I really didn't see a way to get up there. And I'm, I don't really see one still now. But let's, there must be a way. So let's explore that. But first, there are quite some dudes to take out over here. 
and taking out that guy from up close is also easier said than done, I think. But let's see if we can finally get a backstab out of him. And again, no backstab. went pretty good. Was not expecting him to fall that quickly. We were a one hit more and we would have been dead. Alright, but there are also... Ah, there's even an item over there. God damn it. You see how easy it is to miss uh, stuff in this game. Damn it! I thought it would fall this way. It's falling the other side, and there is over there is indeed, you know, it's it's all I think a hint. Also the placement of the uh, of the loot, because now you look over there and you see yeah, like there, there's a little boardwalk over there. So probably, I hope it didn't. Fall fell all the way down because I do want that loot, goddammit. There's one dude over here ready to pounce. I don't see... Ah, here he is, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Alright, but now the question is how to get up there. By the way, what I noticed, ah, now I have a little bit, uh, I hardly ever need to upgrade my, uh, repair my weapons. Weapon degradation is quite minimal. Now I was at 58 out of 60. All right, don't forget, I really must not forget that there is uh, an item lying over there. Yeah, I cannot climb, I cannot get up here, so I really have no clue what to do, to be honest. Probably I first need to clear out this area. And the problem is, the guys with ranged attacks, they are on the other side of this walkway. really remember where they all are. There they are. Holy shit! Holy shit! And they're actually throwing fire bombs, I think. Man, that is dangerous. Um, yeah. I'm not that sure what to do, because I cannot make that... I can only shoot up so high with the bow. And that is... I think they will have... Yeah, this is what I mean. Ah, but they cannot throw ex fully down, I think. Can they? Yeah, goddammit. But even so, I... Yeah, I didn't race through here. I did check for ways to get somewhere, but I don't... Still, I don't see a way up there. There must be a way up. Alright, what to do? Can I take them out with the crossbow? Or, I know a better way. But let's try the crossbow. That works. Yeah. 
Very nice. Alright. Two down, but I think there is another one. Otherwise, I was thinking I will just use um, soul arrows. They can also shoot at pretty awkward angles. But the only thing now is there is another one. Yeah, there he is. Alright, nice. He is clipping. So I can cheese my way through. God damn it, I cannot shoot higher. This should work. One. No. Alright, he only takes two. By the way, there's also, I always cancel um, an arrow by using uh, roll or he automatically jumps back, the B button. It also cancels an arrow, but it's quite dangerous if you're near a, a ridge or a ledge. And if you want to cancel an arrow that you jump back and you jump into the abyss. Apparently there's also a way to s press switch weapons or double weapon. Yeah, that's, that is safer. Um, I will be using that one. And I think also a way is... Switching weapons, so just doing... Right D-pad, that is, I think, or is it left? I don't even remember, I think right. Yes, but that's annoying, because then you have to cycle through all of them to get back to the bow. Anyways, this was not that bad to clear out, uh, as I remember indeed. It looks quite intimidating, this whole area, but there are really only four enemies. But now the question is, how in the holy hell do I get up there? I see... Um, a door over there, so it, it, I think it's pretty sure it is through this tower. So somehow we need to have access to that tower and that could very well be... Yeah, I wanted to say all the way uh, from below, but there's an abyss below, so... I don't see a door outside. I must be missing something obvious. Maybe on the other side. Or is this something in itself? No. By the way, weird that that bonfire is usually over there. I'll uh, closely that despawns, so to say. And that window over there, I find that is the wrong color texture. It's way too white. It should be much darker. It's, it's totally out of place. I even noticed it from all the way back there. You only see that little white square when you're further away. Um, anyways, how in the holy mother of Dark Souls do we get up there? I do like these little puzzles, for sure. Yeah, there's also a guy on top of there, uh, so I need to watch out because he, is, he has ranged attacks. Yeah, you tell me. How do I get into that tower? It's maybe a doorway. Ah, is this. Can I use. Can I jump on that one? No, but you can totally destroy them. I was not aware of that.
not the uh, smartest place to start your fire, I would say, but maybe that's just me. I do like this area, this whole uh, undead settlements. I don't think I've ever found anything by destroying um, crates or barrels. Ah, is it that is that could be the way through there? Indeed, that's it. I'm pretty sure. So what I am going to do is I am going to get my no full damage spell out. Then I'm going to jump attack that guy. Did I even get through here? No. no this is totally new. Alright, you see how easy I thought I went through here already. Here, a titanite shard. I can even upgrade my weapon now. That's amazing. Um, guys, I have to go for a very quick sanitary stop. We'll be back within a minute. One sec. edit all right so indeed it's quite amazing how often i have the feeling that i went through somewhere thoroughly and i either overlooked something or i killed somebody i shouldn't like what i mentioned at the start of the episode friendly but yeah i really couldn't know he was a friendly unless i just go up to all the potential enemies who wait for them to whack me and if they don't whack me yeah, they're not an enemy, but chances that they will whack me is like 9 out of 10. So that's also not really a strategy. If you want to play a little bit economical. Ah, wow, this is a whole new area. Ah, that's it. I was confused because I did saw this archway from when I was up there on the roof. But there is also... Where is that? Near that bridge. There's this bridge and then there is also a way... Uh, in the cliff I think or something and I was confusing the two I thought when I went past that ah that is actually where we came out of the sewers that is also a doorway in this wall so to say so when I went in there I thought that that was this hallway I saw from up there but there are actually two levels so this is totally new I really totally missed this area so there could be more enemies here or not there could be there for sure ah wow there's a bonfire as well in here check it out i was so looking for a bonfire recently and there is just one in here check it out all right i still have yeah, more than enough estes or not more than enough but enough check it out this is amazing or shall i rest here i'm not sure yeah let's just rest here because if i die then at least i won't return to the one that is all the way back 
right, here we go. And, oh shit, but now I rested. Now I wonder whether that body that I shot from over there, where did it drop? Is it still lying around? Because sometimes those random bodies, ah, it's still there, nice. The, the one with the ring, um, yeah, further over there, Actually, it, it respawns to its original place once I dropped it down, which was quite annoying. I do think these guys can hit me from over here. Ah, not really. Alright, they're somehow super weak. Alright, let's also check it out a little bit over here. It's so fun in this game that you can also... I wouldn't call it platform, but you can get on quite a lot of structures. It feels a little bit rudimentary, but still. Alright, this is again... I find very nice uh, game design and I must say this whole area with also some loopbacks and some, some shortcuts, yeah I find it pretty much almost on par of course the, the first experience is all yeah for me was the best with like this that intricate world building but this is almost on par with Dark Souls 1 I would say. Alright here we go. Candles, so that is light or fire. So that is maybe a hint towards the pyromancy guy that we are about to meet. All right, any more hidden items? Sorry, I'm really going through it a little bit slowly. I will step up the pace a bit, but one moment, just a little bit, I wouldn't say early in the uh, in the day, but it's also just me, yeah, I'm often a little bit slowly, slow, but getting to grips with everything, but once I do, it will go quicker, here he is, nice. and an item and let's talk to him how does he look he has like a blindfold over his head and he has yeah some kind of a warrior mage outfit i would say aha unkindled are we welcome to my abode i am cornix an old pyromancer a crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are, an encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Yes. Ah, most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> what the hell? Did I now learn a pyromancy? I don't see anything new in my inventory. By the way, I have 1200 souls. Before the boss fights, I do want to spend those because Otherwise, it's just probably a waste. I will die. I'm almost certain. All right, let's assume that now I really cleared out the undead settlements. Um, let's get to Firelink Shrine. And um, probably I still overlook stuff. Yeah, I do think 
I went through it quite um, consciously. Oh shit, no, I don't need to. Oh shit, now I can't get back up there. God damn it. God damn it. Don't wanna fight that guy. Or I can cheese my way through. I will be buying new stuff uh, anyway, so. Screw the arrows. Damn it. I wonder whether he can throw his bucket. Um, also upwards. I do know that enemies can... God damn it, wrong pyromancy. I do know that enemies can um, sometimes hit you through the world. I guess. But he's not big enough. God damn it, I'm spending my stuff. I'm wasting my stuff. All right, let's just try and uh, take a little bit more risk. Like so. What the hell? What the hell? What just happened? I don't know. How is that guy? Uh, did I? I think I may have. Yes, rested at the bonfire. So they're all back in action again. Oh shit, oh man, I'm such an idiot. How much full? 100. Such an idiot. I wanted to do my no full damage magic, but I forgot to whip out the uh, magic stuff. Let's get back to firing. Spend our things and all right. Is there a pyromancy guy now here? I still don't really trust that little guy over there, but maybe that's just me. Is this all about? Ah, here we go. Some of them. So then, maybe more NPCs that disappeared from the world after talking with them. Maybe they settle back here. But this is uh, Ornix. Oh, there you are, unkindled one. Or something like that. I wish to express my gratitude. What was his name again? A lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you need a flame of your own. All right, nice. So I have a pyromancy flame. That's good. He is three pyromancer. I'm not, it's, I don't think it's Ornix, it was something else. Ornix is his name. All right, very nice. You don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> um, 
what do we need? We need titanite shards to improve it. Um, yeah. I could do it plus two. But I could also... Upgrade my weapon to plus three, I think, or plus four, maybe even. I'm not sure what to do. This goes from one thirty to one twenty three. And it skills with intelligence and faith. And it also upgrades with titanite shards. Yeah, it could be handy. Also against maybe the boss that we will be fighting. I expect that boss, if it's a tree, that it may be vulnerable to fire. Right, I'm just going to do it. Screw it. And we can go another one. That we are going to 123 to 133. Here we go. I actually wanted to upgrade my weapon, but yeah, now we have like a, a pretty strong pyromancy flame. Is you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tone to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the great swamp, and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. Right, so it will probably be <laughs> handy in the great swamp, I guess. To learn pyromancies, I <laughs> Right, what do we have? What's this? Elementary pyromancy, that's often the first learned. Rolls a fireball. To use pyromancy, equip a pyromancy flame and attune a pyromancy at a bonfire. Right, so we also have to attune it. Pyromancy of Cornix of the Great Swamp emits a constant stream of fire. Cornix is a venerable pyromancer of an older mold, said to have restored a number of spells lost to the past, amongst which this is the most well known. Pyromancy which improves upon combustion. Right, I don't have combustion. Creates a powerful giant flame in hand. A very powerful yet simple spell to use. Pyromancy is to at once is to at once no fear and longing, the resultant power of which depends on both the caster's intelligence and faith. Pyromancy is to at to at once no fear and longing. So it scales with uh, two attributes, faith and intelligence. A unique uh, flesh sweat. This was, this was great combustion, fire search and fireball. Unique pyromancy of the great swamp associated with Carmina. Intense. We also had secret of Karina or something. I don't think it was Carmina. That's the, the Michelin guy that was also in um, Dark Souls 1. He has like that armor that looks like the Michelin guy. Unique pyromancy of the Great Swamp associated with Carmina. Intense sweating increases fire damage absorption. An influential pyromancy that internalizes flame, likely forming the foundation for many subsequent spells. All right, interesting. You can stack them, so to say. First shoot this one and then do a, a genuine pyromancy uh, fireball. 
for extra damage. I am going with the uh, the first one, fireball. Very nice. So that's also takes rid uh, takes care of the extra souls I had. Uh, what can we buy from these dudes? Pyromancy, Mancer crown, Pyromancer garb, wrap, trousers. That's probably a little bit the same as uh, he was carrying himself. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? As he is carrying, uh, carrying himself, or wear wearing himself. All right, who is this? Also a new one. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> Alright, very nice. Alright, Loretta's Bone. That was indeed... I, I uh, In one of the earlier episodes, I rescued this guy from a cell or... In, 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 no, I, yeah, I didn't really rescue. He disappeared himself, but he said to find a lady at the base of the Great Wall of Lothric and I only found her bone. Apparently she already deceased, but let's uh, give that back to him now. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, very nice. You can keep the ring. <laughs> I'm not sure who pays more, this guy or uh, the lady upstairs. But let's first see if there's anything we need. Blood red, reduced, bill, uh, reduced bleed, fire bombs, throw behind, explodes, inflicting, thrown behind. Not sure what that means. But you cannot throw it forward. All right, he does have quite some weapons as well, which could also be handy. I need a new weapon for uh, the crystal lizards. But it's all pretty basic stuff I would say a thief mask hard leather boots hard gauntlets hard leather armor yeah this is I think standard helm this is like the the regular um, uh, Dark Souls outfit I think which is pretty cool maybe I will be going with that uh, of course, it is quite a little bit more heavy. And he also sells standard arrows. That's pretty nice. Because they are more effective than the wooden ones. Um, for now, I don't know what to do. Let's compare some prices. I will quickly make a, a picture of the screen. Because my memory is lacking. But good Goodbye. thing to know, I totally and stay safe. missed that these guys were all here earlier. Here, there are even more people here. All right, so that's in the next episode. Before we fight the boss, I will check out Firelink a little bit better. But first, let's compare prices. And then, because I'm already hitting the 45 minute marker. Oh, have. All right, let's see. Sea pace, 1000 for embers, that's the same. Brush, this one is the same, same. Five, 10. Yeah, it are exactly the same prices, so that's good to know. Um, 
And then also one other thing I'm curious about, if I sell these souls, do you get more from them than when using them? I think that large one C uh, would Fashion pay one. Be sure. 400. And how much do I get when I use them? So I'm now at 283. I think it's also 400. So we should now be at 683. Yeah, so that's uh, it doesn't matter whether you sell them or you just use them. Um, we will be checking a little bit these NPCs uh, more out in the next episode and then fight the boss uh, in Undead Settlement. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget always to keep on gaming. See you later.